From protection for the world's most trafficked animal to a massive solar system heading toward Earth, this is Trending Tuesday. Number 8. Pangolins are cat-sized, scaly creatures that are found across Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa, and it's known as the world's most trafficked animal. Pangolins are the only mammals known to have developed large scales made of keratin that protect the skin. The demand for those scales in China and Vietnam have helped make pangolins a target of poachers, but the exotic creatures are also in demand for their meat, which is considered a delicacy, and the scales are often used in traditional medicine. There are eight pangolin species. Four species are native to Asia and four are native to Africa, and they're all being killed at alarming rates. Wildlife experts estimate that nearly a million of the creatures have been subject to trafficking over the past 10 years. But the good news is that these shy, harmless animals just got some much needed help. At a global wildlife summit in Johannesburg last week, 82 nations of the Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species unanimously agreed to implement a total international trade ban on all eight species of pangolin. Some rare good news for the endangered animal. Number seven. It could have been a real-life Jaws. Last week, a 17-year-old surfer was attacked by a great white shark and lived to tell the tale. Witnesses say it was a 10-foot great white shark that attacked the teenager while he was lying on a surfboard. The great white bit off a piece of the board and bit the teenager's right hip and thigh, causing some fairly deep lacerations. Luckily, the surfer managed to recover from the injuries and was in stable condition. The incident occurred at Lighthouse Beach in Ballina, the same beach where a shark attacked a Japanese surfer last year. Some measures to help prevent such attacks include dispatching surveillance drones to monitor the beach. Number 6. Murderous Mammals Meerkats might be known for appearing in films like The Lion King and looking all innocent and cute and cuddly, but a recent study published in the journal Nature claims that the meerkat is likely the most murderous mammal on the planet. Over 19% of all meerkat deaths come at the hands, or claws as it were, of another meerkat. Their murder rate is almost 10% higher than that of the large brown bear. But it's not exactly a surprise in the scientific community. An earlier study study showed that the dominant pregnant female in a group of meerkats often kills litters born from other females to better secure resources for their own offspring. Other mammals in the study that were found to murder their own members included the red-tailed monkey, the blue monkey, and the mongoose lemur. Seems like many of these animals are their own worst enemy. Which kind of makes us wonder, where do you think humans would rank on such a list? Well, as it turns out, pretty low. The study claims that over the past 50 years, we've been killing each other off at a rate of 1.33%. That is, human-on-human -human violence is responsible for 1.33 recorded deaths. Seems to us that figure would be higher. What do you think? Number 5. We told you about the great white shark that attacked the surfer in Australia, but here's a shark tale where the creatures were a bit more laid back. Some amazing pictures of blue sharks were taken off England's south coast. The big fish usually live in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, but are thought to have entered the UK's warmer waters to hunt mackerel and other fish. They were seen near the coast of Penzance in Cornwall. That inspired a group of friends to seize the unique opportunity to photograph the fearsome marine creatures. Blue sharks can grow to lengths of nearly three meters and are known to hunt in packs, which is why they're sometimes referred to as wolves of the sea. Number four. You've probably heard some tragic stories of pet owners who left the dog in the car with the windows up and the engine off. That's resulted in many cases of the pets dying from overheating inside the vehicle while the owners were away. California has taken some steps in an effort to prevent such occurrences. Governor Jerry Brown has signed legislation that allows Californians to break into a vehicle that appears to contain pets who appear to be in danger of heat exhaustion. The new bill does state that a concerned citizen must first contact law enforcement and report any situation where an animal is believed to be in peril. A concerned citizen may legally break into the vehicle to rescue the pet in cases where it appears to be in immediate danger. The car doors are locked and law enforcement isn't arriving quickly enough to save the animal's life. The bill provides immunity from civil and criminal liability for a person causing vehicle damage for the purpose of rescuing an animal. Number 3. 
Diving deep. Did you know the world's deepest known underwater cave was found last week? Polish scuba divers explored the waters of the Renice Abyss in the Czech Republic. When they encountered a gap too narrow to swim through, a remote-operated vehicle, or ROV, was dispatched through the narrow passage and it descended into the flooded cave until reaching a depth of 404 meters. The ROV's cord ran out before reaching the cave's bottom, which was still nowhere in sight, so the exact depth still isn't known. But even at 404 meters, that breaks the previous record depth of 392 meters, and that flooded limestone abyss is in the Passo del Mero in Italy. The diving team thinks the Renice abyss will yield more records as they continue their research. Number two. A few days ago, we ran an episode for Throwback Thursday called Nine Fantastic Fossil Finds, and we told you about the bones of a titanosaur that was recently discovered in Argentina. Now, we've received word from Mongolia that archaeologists there have discovered one of the biggest dinosaur footprints ever recorded. It was unearthed in the Gobi Desert, and the giant print measures 106 centimeters long and 77 centimeters wide, roughly the size of a man. It was one of several footprints found in the Mongolian desert and is thought to be around 70 million years old. Researchers estimate the animal may have been over 30 meters long and 20 meters tall. They also claim it's extremely rare to find such a well-preserved fossil footprint over a meter long, complete with imprints of the creature's claws. Number 1 Solar storms. Did you know a massive solar storm was predicted to hit Earth last week? It was thought the storm could affect our technology, especially satellites in orbit, leading to the malfunctioning of GPS navigation systems, satellite TV, and mobile phone services. Oh, your smartphone malfunctioning? Now that is a nightmare. All that electromagnetic mischief is caused by a stream of solar particles streaming toward the Earth. The storm is said to open a coronal hole in the sun, and that's according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Because the magnetic field of this hole is different from the rest of the star, its magnetic field lines remain open and extend into space. Well, that's what we were told, anyway. The bigger question is, did you make it safely through the storm? And even more important, is your smartphone okay? 